Hello, GigaTitan here, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the new V2 templates I've made to make a full screen YouTube background and paint. Okay, to get started, all you need to do is check the description for the links to the template. Go ahead and right click the template that you want when to uh, open it up and click copy. Then go ahead and just open up your basic paint program and paste it in there. So you have it all right here. And just go ahead and check it out and see if you like it. Uh, there's a lot of different color schemes to pick around, so go ahead and choose the one that you like. Okay, to add a little more personal touch, go ahead and just open up your Google browser or whatever that you use, and just whatever search engine you use, and look up um, some pictures that you like. If you're doing Pokemon, just look up for the official uh, picture, like it's that kind of style looking. Those would be your uh, best bet for getting a nice picture without any white edges around it. It should come out nice. Go ahead and just copy that and have a second paint open, a uh, second paint window open and go ahead and paste that in there and uh, just it should be defaulted correctly that you just get your paint bucket tool and right click all of the black remember to right click that not left click and I'll go ahead and I'll just center this right here and uh, to make it match up with your background you have to get the color of the box you want to put it in so that's what all those boxes are for you can go ahead and um, all you do is you basically just get the select tool um, get a little square right in the middle of the box that you want to put it in and click copy. Then go back to your uh, other paint tab that has the picture you want and go ahead and paste in that little uh, square right there. Grab the um, eyedropper tool, right click the blue or whatever color it is and left click in the white right there. And then the paint bucket tool should automatically be selected and right click and then the blue will be all over the uh, picture. Then go ahead and get the select tool, select right around the edges of your picture and click copy. Then go back to your other paint tab and find the box you'd like to put your picture in. Go ahead and scroll out here and just scroll on down. You can do control V on Windows if you want to paste it in there quickly and go ahead and line it up right there. And also if you're having trouble with the image size you can click image and then uh, stretch and skew and reduce the size to make it fit in the box. Now, the main feature of the new V2 template is that you can add your name here. I don't want to cramp your style with the big Made by Gigatitan, so I just put the template thing right in the middle. So now, this is the exa first example of how someone might try to add their name. And as you can see, it looks like crap. Fail. That is not how you're supposed to do it. Alright, so let me show you the correct way. All you need is Microsoft Word or any other Word program. Go ahead and type your name and put a space between each letter. Just type it how you want it to come out on the channel. Then go ahead and size it up to about 20 point right there. And go ahead and just copy it. And make sure you have the window that you made your other picture in because it will be the exact color that you want. So go ahead and just delete that picture and paste in the text and it should automatically be all the white should be gone. And if you didn't do that, right click the color with the eyedropper that you want uh, to have and then left click the white and it should automatically do this then go ahead and just copy right around there go into your template again I'll go ahead and just open up a new template here because I don't want to write on that disgrace of a channel so go ahead and just don't save that and I'll go ahead and just zoom in a little bit and go ahead and paste that in there put it right over the blue, make sure to get centered so it doesn't get mixed with the white and it should turn out pretty good. You can make it longer if you want, uh, more spaces in between it if you want the uh, the text to fill out the entire box but now you can also change the color there in paint or in word. Once you've added your background and are satisfied with it, go ahead and click save or save as, doesn't matter and make sure to save it as a JPEG file for the best uploading quality. Now that you have it all done, go ahead and go on your channel, click Edit Channel, then go to Channel Design, scroll on down, and find the little box for you to input your template. Go ahead and find the template that you saved in your channel that you made, and uh, go ahead and click that and click Upload. Should upload and show right here. Even if it doesn't, it should have uploaded anyways. Then go ahead and click No on Repeat Background Image because uh, you know you want to make sure that it doesn't repeat, and make sure that you transparency is 50 percent cannot stress that enough make sure you gotta see your background shine through 
So enjoy your new channel, guys, and please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like this, and I'll try to get back to your questions if you guys have any, so leave a comment here. Thanks very much for watching.